Hans Werner Sinn. Thank you so much for joining us on the program, Mr. Sinn. In terms of what we're seeing, uh, that EFO business confidence, actually a little bit better than what we were expecting. Is this going to be a trend continuing for the next couple of months, or is it just a one-off? Uh, if I knew. We don't make forecasts of our uh, forecasting instrument, which we have here. Now, the, the nice uh, thing about uh, today's results is that uh, the assessment of the current situation has not deteriorated, uh, unlike the previous month. And its general level is still very favorable. On the other hand, the expectations for the next six months are still declining, although not as rapidly as in the previous month. So um, it's a remarkable uh, difference between the assessment of the situation and the expectations. So the general uh, turmoil on the, in the markets, uh, the political discussions, that affects the expectations. But the current business situation is still rather robust. But so how, overall, I know this is better than expected. You're saying that basically the situation is a little bit more robust than we were expecting. But how deep will the slowdown run in Germany and the rest of the Eurozone, despite this better than expected IFO figure? Well, of course, Europe is divided into two groups. Uh, those countries which before the crisis imported lots of capital, uh, there was a period of soft budget constraints. They had building booms, uh, a bubble. The bubble burst because the capital was no longer flowing and no longer willing to sustain this uh, bubble. Uh, and the cap capital stays in the countries from where it was coming. Uh, for example, Germany. This creates very low interest rates in Germany and a building boom in Germany, uh, an investment boom. Last year we had a boom which was not driven primarily by exports but by internal investment. This is all cooling, this is true, but uh, this internal investment is keeping us up. But so there's no danger of a recession now? I, again, I understand that this EFA is better than estimated, but we're still at the lowest since June 2010. There's a lot of news flow. There's a lot of talk of, uh, self, of pessimism, and I wonder whether this will actually fuel a recession at, you know, and it will self-profitize, what the newspapers say at the moment. No, 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 no. I don't see a recession for Germany. Uh, some European countries have been in a recession since the beginning of the crisis. They will stay there. Others might uh, join them. But in general, this is not a recessionary uh, situation. For America, I see things differently. I would say with a 50 percent probability they will have a recession soon. Uh, Germany, definitely not. And do you think that the ECB should take additional measures now to bolster the economy and prop up all economies of the Eurozone? Well, what should it do? The interest rate is already very low, 1.5%. They can go down again uh, towards 1%. Uh, at some stage, the question will arise. But uh, basically, Europe has to carry out its reforms. Some countries uh, overspent in the past. They borrowed too much, and they, it is a painful process to adjust to reality. All right, thank you so much, Hans-Werner Sinn, now president of the IFO Institute for Economic Research.